Good morning, cultists. In our last episode, I destroyed another of Yuan Shao's stack of troops, so now he's down to three armies, and we ended things off after beginning the siege on the small city of Ying Chuan. And I've determined that I think it would be best for us to upgrade this grain store to the grain silo. That way we unlock another reform. Not that I might actually pick it, but still. And we'll go ahead and upgrade the craftsman shacks to the craftsman shacks. Is that right? No, no. It's a private workshop. Never mind. Lu Jiang. Um, nope. Artisan workshop. Sounds good to me. Okay. Though Lady Bian is sieging it down, we might need to, to back off and let Cao Ang uh, take over instead since he's got the two trebuchets. Yeah. Well, we'll do what we can in any case. Tolerance is the best we can offer. What? Yuan Shao wants peace. Wait a minute. Whoa, he's rank 7 now. Wait, what happened? How did he get to rank 7? Uh, no, because I want to too pursue this. Too greedy? I want you dead. I'm not greedy. I'm bloodthirsty. Get it right, man. Man, what a jerk. Ah, as expected, he's booking it. He's camped out next to the Great Wall of China. Liu Biao. Oh, I see. I see. So Liu Biao's bit in the bucket and has been succeeded by Liu Kong. Oh, there's been another succession. General in need. An enemy messenger arrives with news that one of your generals has allowed themselves to be captured by the enemy. As you read, the messenger awaits to return with your decision. What? Again? Good grief. Mm. We have a clay fish now, I guess. Ready for duty. And then you get immediately captured. And Dian Wei has become fiery. Good for you, buddy. Spy vents. So have you actually managed to infiltrate them or what? So what's going on with you right now? He's got 10 counties. How does he have 10 counties? Hmm, because he was at 9 before. He's got 2 armies, 3 ministers, 5 assignments, and he's still um starving out. Wait, if he's only got 2 armies, how are we still like considered equal? Makes no sense. So that's Yuan Shao and that's Yuan Shao. So that's all he's got. I think we just need to pursue him until the um until he's completely destroyed. Alright, Lady Bian. I'm going to have you break the siege. But you're still gonna participate in this, so don't worry. And uh Tao Ang, let's have you attack the uh city itself. You've got your trebuchets, you've got your crossbowmen. What exactly are we dealing with here? Okay. Rather square, um, you know, place, but that's fine. And they've got a bastion artillery. Okay. You do a night battle? Ah, no, no, I don't want that. I want the reinforcements. Yeah, let's do it. So they're already starting to starve out our roots are strong we will achieve much wait have i actually done a manual as siege even as with our trebuchets has. so far i don't know if i have i don't recall doing it in any case but hopefully that'll be the very useful to us anew, keep focus on our sorry sima lang or whatever your name is i don't mean to you know just completely interrupt you there but yeah i'm gonna interrupt you there Okay, so I think these ones are the ones that are garrisoned. Um, oh, that's destroyed. Ah, then maybe that's the place that we want to start, perhaps. So we've got our reinforcements coming in from that side. I'd say let's do a cautious dragon. And we'll start ourselves out over here, I think. Oh, wait. We've got our spear guards, we're able to do the turtle formation, so maybe instead of that, we do the eagle's wing. Yeah, I think that might be slightly better. Or I think 
Actually, no. We're just gonna have to do this manually. Yeah. Alright. Um, then let's have you guys be in the front. And, uh... You'll be over here. And you guys can be in the turtle formation. Fantastic. And turtle formation... Gives us what again? Range block chance 100%. Nice. So that means that these guys can't do that, right? Okay, I think that'll be good for now. Got our two trebuchets. Let's actually split you guys up. Also, do we know where their bastion artillery is? I don't see anything of the sort. Maybe it appears once we actually start the fight. Hmm. Okay. Alright, hopefully that'll be enough. Oh, sorry. You guys should be grouped too. There we go. Fantastic. Alright, let's do this. Oh shit, there it is! There's their Bastion Artillery. Oh crap. We might need to get these guys to back up a little bit. Otherwise, they might be taking some collateral, which is of course a big no-no. Um, arrows. Have you guys move... Back until we got we need you guys, and um, hmm, excluding the Tetsudo, have you guys move up a little bit. Okay, so you guys are starting or attacking the Bastion artillery thing, right? Nice. So it's just a regular trebuchet, nothing special about it. Oh damn! That was like a direct hit. And this guy's now in the fires. Good grief. Wow, what did it take one from the team, buddy? Oh, shit. It's all laggy and shit because of the uh, reinforcements coming, I think. Alright, go for it. Destroy this trebuchet. Do not let this one thing ruin it. Ruin everything for us. No! The game is freezing on me! Damn the reinforcements! Oh, crap. That's like another uh, direct hit. Come on, guys. You need to destroy this thing. Do not let it fire again. You've got eight trebuchets and the f one... Should be enough to destroy them. Okay. We're okay so far. Taking some hits. And some morale damage, but... I think for the most part... We should be alright. I hope. Ah, crap. And of course now the, uh... Fucking, uh... Things happen again. Where it uh, lags when I add things to the um, uh, ah shit, that's a direct hit. Crap all over it. Hey, direct hit on them too. Hey, how come he's not going down? What the shit? They are wavering though, so we might be able to get them just just book it before they uh, actually get destroyed here. Which is not ah, there we go. Fantastic, good job, guys. Good job. Now, see if you can destroy their fort tower. Forget that shit. Go for their fort tower. Or maybe gatehouse? Yeah, they don't have the uh, arrow tower there, so at least we're okay with that. Does that make a difference what we uh, target here? Nice, nice. Is it on fire? Should be on fire. Wait, there's spear guards. Oh, I see. Wait, so this is completely open then. Interesting. Alright, then how about you guys actually try to aim for that arrow tower? If you can get it destroyed, then we might be able to go after this place instead. Though... Hmm, they'd still have a fair bit of um defense there, I suppose. Yeah, I've got a lot of archers on that side. Then maybe... We have one of these guys. Can scale the walls, right? Oh shit, with like grappling hooks? Huh. Interesting. Oh, direct hit! Holy crap! Good job, Trebuchet. Good job. And that one is at 95% damage. So, what happens when the fire damage reaches full? Does it actually, like, go up in flames, or what? Oh, the, uh, regular damage is going up too now. 
Okay, then uh, maybe go after their walls? We have destroyed their hey, good job, buddy. Good job. Mm, see if you can destroy the gatehouse, actually. I doubt it's possible. But maybe go after their gatehouse as well. Ah, oh, so close. So close. You know what? Let it go. Go after the gatehouse. Because they think it's actually fairly close to being destroyed. So once that's down, they should be able to just charge in dick first, right? Yes, I think so. The men are out of ammunition. Crap. I think our trebuchet is out of ammo. Okay, let's get you guys in there. Attack. And I guess the gates have fallen. Fantastic. Ah, uh, you know what? There you go. Okay. Um, gates have fallen. Fantastic. Let's have our... Uh, dudes with arrows move up. Maybe do a little bit of damage to them before we actually charge in. Fantastic. Thank you for that. Very, um, very helpful as you guys just attack nothing. Yep, that's great. That's great. Good job. Actually, see if we can hit their uh, cavalry in the back there. I suppose we can just have our um, spearmen go charge in too, but still. Okay, let's get you guys up here. Here. Fantastic. What's up with that weird stack you guys going on there? Don't quite understand it, but sure. Oh, I think it's because maybe one of them is not the uh, sent to turtle stance. Ah, that might be it. Yeah, I think we should be alright even without the turtle stance. And you guys can uh, get into position as well. Fantastic. Archers, are you guys coming in? Coming in hot, coming in heavy? Alright, go for it. Cavalry... Might not really need you, but... Get you guys in here anyways. Sure. And the leaders can also get into position there. Fantastic. Ah, good. We've started the attack on their little uh, dudes here. Wow. Bad... Bad idea. I mean, they do have shields. But, the fact that you guys are all stacked together is just... Suicide. But hey, don't let me stop you from being st stupid. Fantastic. That's their uh, captain, too. Jeez. Can you all reach those guys? Because if you can, that'd be incredible. The yep. There they go. Running. Nice. <laughs> Fantastic. So their own archers are now coming in, which is concerning. But our crossbowmen should uh, outrange them, I think. Yeah. Yeah, go after their archers next, please. Go straight for their buttholes. Their sweet, delicious buttholes. Atta boy. Keep them all stacked in there. That's right, you dumb sacks of shit. Right, if you're not in range, get into position. Our Go men for have it. No ammunition. They cannot fire. Fantastic. Yep. Though we are now out of ammunition, so a little concerning, but we should be all right still. I love that they can fire over walls. There you the go. Nice. Toy like a toyger. Okay, folks. Let's, uh, bust right in, and spearmen go after their saber cavalry. Fantastic. I'm thinking we can probably minimize the casualties for this fight. And, uh, are you guys going in there? Oh, you are. Good, 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 good. There they go. Charging in dick first. Um, melee dudes, go after those bastards. And I think we're going to need to bring in our cavalry here. Oh, shit. I guess their archers are just... Okay. Sure, why not? I guess that works for us. Ah, right. They're now firing into my troops. Which I guess I kind of saw coming. Um... So those ones are still controlled by the enemy. Meaning that I don't know if we can really do much with our cavalry right now. I guess get into position somewhat. 
And let's have you guys be in a separate group. Wait. How come they still got dudes? That's weird. But whatever. Or they still got ammunition, rather. Oh. Alright, let's get our um, dudes in there. If nothing else, then at least for the aura bonuses, right? Yeah, you should definitely get in there. Increase that uh, range block chance. Fantastic. Right, folks? <laughs> oh my god, it's turned into a PowerPoint slideshow! Ah, jeez. <laughs> okay, good. Now you're firing right into them. Perfect. Yep. PowerPoint slideshow. Nice. Very nice. Mm. See if we can hit their G infantry. Okay, so now it's okay. No, I thought the um, the thing was uh, clearing up a little bit or something, but no, it's still hot garbage. Got it. All right, Lady Bian, if you can please help them with their stone bulwark, that'd be fantastic. And um, right, help out with that as well. Go fight their uh, dudes. All right, go for it, kids. See Malang. Mm, let's. Oh shit! Oh, I see. Okay, so it's like a um, AOE debuff thing. Okay, I see. I see. All right, never mind then. Mm, how about you guys just stop firing right now? Because you're basically just hitting our dudes now. Actually. Hmm. If you can hit up their archers in the back? That'd be great. Though I'm sure they're probably uh, eager to book it at this point. If only it wasn't the G infantry. Then we can probably hit them up with our cavalry as well. But oh well. Fight these dudes. Don't worry about their um, archers, I would say. Matter of fact, maybe we can get our cavalry to do that job instead. As long as they can push through the uh, infantry in the front, we should be alright. Yep, definitely a fucking slideshow now. Mm. Got the stifling debuff thing, but it's not really gonna help us out right now. Tao Ang, Earthen Rampart. Let's get you stuck in. And they are just completely being swallowed up now. I love it. Absolutely love it. Oh, so our cavalry is actually broken through, and now they're going after their um, their uh, archers and shit. Good job, guys. Good job. You guys can follow those dudes, and you are headed to those dudes as well. Perfect. That's it. That's it. Well, I mean, they've got the spear guards there, but that's pretty much it. Hoping that we've um, minimized our casualties. And the Ford Tower can't shoot backwards, can it? No, I'm pretty sure it can't. Alright, so then let's have you guys go after the Spear Guards, and that should be all she wrote. Yeah, and you guys can do the same. Don't worry about the dudes who are running away. Just let them book it if we need to. Oh shit, they've got their little uh, archery tower there. Well, that's annoying as fuck. Can you actually take that um, all on horseback? I don't think so, right? Forget those dudes. Go up to these assholes. Atta boy. Alright. Let's get you into attack their spear guards there. Wow, they can't even get through. Holy crap, they're all just... What a... This is the world's worst intersection ever. It's the entire fucking population of China just in one intersection. Good god. Holy shit. Okay, they're booking it. That's it. They're broken. We're done here. Oh, they, so they are able to take the um, towers and shit despite the fact that they're on horseback. Nice. Very nice. Decisive victory indeed. Which I guess was more or less predicted by the AI, but... You know, I'm counting this as a bigger win for us than it than the AI could have accomplished, maybe. Maybe? I hope so. 
Demolition man, nice. Our victory is proof of heaven's and we've only lost 432 dudes. Yeah, we deployed nine, almost 10,000. Oh my god. We will Absolutely incredible. To this settlement. So now the uh, settlement of Ying Ch or the province of Ying Chuan is mine. Mm. Which leaves us in a bit of a crossroads. Do we head south to take um, Liu Kong stuff, formerly known as Liu Biao? Or do we go up north to um, lay the pressure on Yuan Xiao, who seems to be eager to vassalize everyone and their dogs? Battle Axe, Clayfish, Oathsworn, Oathsworn. Oh, that was their capital? Good grief. Wow, really? Holy shit, so Yang Chuan was actually the Han Empire's capital, which is weird. Um Okay, so Dong Min, who is essentially the liege of the um Han Empire, is willing to peace out. Yuan Shao as well. I was kinda hoping that we can detain some peace with uh, Liu Kong here, but Hmm. Maybe not. Let us get this over with. Oh, really? You want me to give you food? Huh. Okay, I mean... Might be possible. How about I vassalize you instead? No? Is that a no? Okay, well, fine, be that way. I can give you a battle axe. Oh shit, that reduces expertise. Interesting. And then maybe this thing? And perhaps a builder? And like a wooden fish? Yep, that's actually far too much as a matter of fact. So I don't don't even need to give him the uh, battle axe. Uh, and if I replace that, then I'll need maybe a couple more crappy things. Not to imply that the builder is crappy, but... You know. Hmm... Warriors reinforced leather. Forged iron scale. Or the tunic of divination. Hmm. Clayfish increases authority and satisfaction, but not much else. I don't know, actually. Mathematician increases carning by a little bit and also reserves faction wide, but only if they're like the uh, top of the thing. So we could peace out with Liu Kong. But what if we push farther south? Maybe we can have like um, one stack go up north to lay the pressure on Yuan Shao, since we are with allies. And then two stacks go down south to, to attack um, Liu Kong. Yeah, that could work. I think Cao Ang should um, move south. With uh, Cao Cao and uh, yeah, and Lady Bian can move up north. No, let's have Cao uh, Cao Cao move up north with uh, Yuan Shao. I think that might be a little bit better. Huh? See if you want to go there. Oh shit, that's gonna take a little while. But I suppose it's better this way that we can uh, recover as you go. All right, let's do that. And Cao Ang will give you a moment's respite. All right, reforms. Let's go for ever level granaries, or should we go for principles of Wu Wei? No, let's go for ever level. Wait, no. If I do this, oh, extra replenishment. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna have to go with the extra re replenishment. Sure. Wu Cheng, Ying Cheng. So, oh, that's only. So, wait, what's the other thing that lets me, um, get that other thing? You know, that thing? Damn it. A lot of words here. Oh, shit. Right, right, because we'll all siege down and stuff. Uh, and we can upgrade this as well. Sure. Sounds good. Okay. I think we've done all we can this, uh, this turn. 
it's crazy that he's still ranked pretty highly despite the fact that he's down to like two armies. I'm talking about uh, Yuan Shao here. At least that's what my spy says. Oh, he's taken the farmland of Yi. Yi is, is, I believe, the capital of Yuan Shao? Yeah, yeah, they've got the city of Yi as their capital. Oh, what? Sun Qian! I can't believe you've done this. What the hell, man? We need you on this, bud. Shit. Ah, good. Gang Li's been rec uh, recruited and he's now an administrator. Holy crap. Good job, buddy. Good job. Hmm. Let's see how you're doing. Still got 10 counties somehow. He's got two armies. And his heir is Yuan Tan. And Lady Liu is his wife. I see. What? He's got four armies. What are you talking about? That's a lie. Hmm. No, one of them's not. Uh, I think a couple of them are kind of somewhat um, not fully uh, replenished or whatever. I see. Sure, as long as you stay in our um, range. Actually, can I have you march Ready stance across? March okay, good. Because it seems like um, crossing the river takes a pretty hefty toll on their um, ability to move. Okay, uh, Cao Ang. We should be able to move down south. Lady Bian, stick with your son. Yeah. So I'm actually thinking that maybe once we, we take... Could do great things together. You want me to attack Liu Zhang. Who are they again? These guys? For 4,000 bucks? Hell yeah, man. You do us honor in Wait, is that why you went to peace? Uh, wanted to peace out with uh, Yuan Shao? Because you're busy attacking Liu Zhang? Damn. Hmm. Concerning. Oh, fuck. Now the Han Empire is trying to retaliate. Which is, of course, a big no-no. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Oh, okay. What? Now Sun Jian's de <laughs> Yuan Shao's declared war on Sun Jian? It's been a long time since you've seen your sworn kin. China is vast and the country's needs are many. You've been separated in the name of progress for so long. Upon being reunited, there's little anyone can do to stop you embracing, overjoyed at finally seeing one another again. Ah, that's wholesome. I've had uh, friendships like that for Vent sure. Frustration. So, this guy's a little concerning. I don't know what he intends to do, but um, he's looking to attack me here. Ha! Huh. I'm a little worried. Two arms. I wonder if Lady Bian can actually hit him up in this turn. I don't think so, sadly. Remain Zhao Ang? Honest. No. Then I think we might as well just uh, move towards Runan. Sure. Why not? Lady Bian, pursue. Uh, whoa, we're actually making fourteen hundred buckaronis a month. Wow, sorry, not a month, but you know. Um, let's upgrade the tool depot. It's more expensive, but it takes um shorter time and uh, le less time, and also I think it provides me with a uh, bigger income boost. Well, actually, it's about the same, I think. Yeah, whatever, it's fine. Peng Cheng. Mmm, two turns for that. Yeah, anything to increase our income. Oh shit! He's been promoted to be a general. Holy crap. As I walk this land of homes and families, I see Okay, China's half future. blocked for Cao Cao. Oh, you already. Oh no, you have to move this turn. Resume standard mm. position. So that's. Oh shit, they've got a full stack in there now, which is crap. Ah oh, shit. Uh, can I get someone to attack this guy that's right next to me? Are you it? Oh, Liu Kong is actually willing to peace out now. Huh. And getting a trade agreement with her is actually not a bad idea. 
sure. We accept. Hong wrong, no. Hmm. So if I peace out Liu Kong, I won't be able to take his territory, but we should be able to move up north to destroy Yuan Shao, which might not be a bad idea. Damn it, but I've already come so close towards uh, Runan. What if I take the um, iron mine and the small city and the jade mine and the small um, Nanyang? What if we take these two provinces and then try to peace out Liu Kong? I don't know if that's going to be enough time. I may want to just retreat with uh, Cao Cao. That's the case. Shoot. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. Because I'm pretty sure this large city is not going to be easy for us to take, is it? Madness. Nah, I yeah, cannot. I'm with you on that, buddy. I'm with you on that. It's going to be madness for us. Balance of power on their side. Hmm. If it was just one thing or another, I think we'd be fine, but the fact that it's both of them makes it extremely dangerous. I wonder if we can actually lay an ambush for them. Where are you right now? Where are you standing right now? Uh... Do I know what the chances of ambush are from where... Cao Cao is standing? I'm actually Autumn not sure. Leaves, but you know what? Go for it. Why not? Alright, well, let's end the episode off here for now. We'll come back tomorrow and, um... Hopefully, we'll be able to take some territory away from Liu Kong and then uh, swing on up north to um, direct our full fury and rage against, uh, what's it, um, Yuan Shao. Alright, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.